So what we'll do is we'll just hit new form here. We'll just put Connie uh, contact. So you can select, select a different field type here. I'm going to click on this one. So let's just say we want name, uh, phone number, and email. You can ask address. You can get um, all kinds of additional information a drop down pages section all this information but we this is all we really want from our client so after adding these let's put update when you you ask for this information some people want to get tons of information they get it all up front but a lot of folks will not fill out a form that asks too much information so you got to find a good balance there so then the next thing we want to do is we want to go to notifications and uh, you can see that this has a, a notification in here that goes directly to the administrator. So we're going to add a new one on this that's called Connie uh, Notification. And basically what it's going to do is we're going to put it in here to send this to your email that we're going to get uh, from your agent page. So we'll send it to there. It'll go from the administrators and we'll have a subject. Um, new sign up on Metro Sales for Connie. And it looks like it requires a message. So we'll put Connie. Uh, you just got a new sign up and then we'll save that notification so we'll put in something like this into the form and you can just copy paste this I'm gonna get this is since we saw that that form is uh, form number two I'll show you real quick where we can see that. It shows the ID number here, number two. So that's the only thing I need to change here. And we'll update that. I want no title, no description, so I make those false. And now let's open the uh, Connie page here. You can see that if it scrolls down, people can put in their name and phone number and the email and that lead will go to you. So then what you'll need to do is go back for each agent, add a new form for each agent, add their notifications to them for each agent, and then on each agent page pop in this. So the next one would be for the next agent that would be form ID 3 and the rest of this stays exactly the same. That's it.